I'm Bella. Today is Monday, March 2nd, and it is a day four. This Friday was a busy one for career and technical education and business education students. Yes, both had major competitions. Later in the show, we'll bring you more results. For most recent updates on the coronavirus, here's Elena. Late yesterday, Governor Andrew Cuomo announced that a person in New York City has tested positive for Corona-19, or the coronavirus. The woman in her late 30s who lives in Manhattan had recently traveled abroad to Iran. She is currently quarantined in her home and people close in contact with her have been identified. She is showing signs of respiratory symptoms is, and is not in ser but is not in ser serious condition. The woman had been a healthcare worker who knew the precautions but still contracted the disease. The CDC is now trying to prepare people for the inve inevitable spread of the coronavirus and is now telling people to wash their hands more, stay away from coughing and sneezing people, and cover your mouth and nose. In some exciting news, Wendy's fans eagerly await new breakfast items launching on the menu. Some menus include the Breakfast Baconator. Starting today, all Wendy's nationwide are serving breakfast. Some of the sandwiches include a maple bacon chicken croissant sandwich and classic sandwiches with egg and cheese. Uh, a new coffee item called the Frosty Chino is also on the menu. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The Senior Variety Show will be meeting this week, Tuesday through Thursday, in room B44 after school. Please be there so we can get this show moving. The wait room will also, be, will also close at 5.30 on Monday, March 2nd. That's today. Please plan accordingly and have your ride ready. Friday, 27 of our CTE students represented us well at the Region 2 Skills USA competition at Morrisville College. ESM students who placed well in their compositions were Isabella Bryant, so good job. She got first in job demo for eyebrow waxing. Alex Lip, sorry if I butcher this, Lip, Lip Perulo <laughs> placed second in photography. Olivia Grabowski placed second in child, early childhood education. Sammy Bedini took first place in job interview. And, uh, let's take it to weather. Good morning. Today we'll have rain showers with a high of 51 degrees. Tomorrow we'll have some afternoon rain and cool down to 45 degrees. On Wednesday, that rain will mix with snow and Thursday should clear up to reveal some clouds in the sun with a high of 43. Friday and Saturday will have a mix of rain and snow on both days and highs in the mid 30s. Sunday will be mostly sunny and have a high of 42. I'm Emily with your weather. Some DECA students had an outstanding performance at the DECA State Conference in Rochester. Nearly 3,000 students took part in the, comp in the conference, competing in a variety of events that held in the fields of marketing, finance, business management, and entrepreneurship. ESM had Zachary Sebum, Gino Abode, sorry if I messed that up, and Brandon Warner qualify for the International Career Development Conference in Nashville, Tennessee and nine awards for top 10 placements in their event. 12 of the 21 students that attended SSC placed in the top 10. Now let's take it to sports with David. The SU basketball team lost to North Carolina 92-79 to on Saturday. Elijah Hughes led the team with 19 points and Barama Sidibe led the team with 15 rebounds. 
The SU lacrosse team defeated Hobart Friday night 21-13 to improve to 4-0 on the season. Brendan Curry and Tucker Dordovich led the team with five goals each. ESM alumni Derek Madonna scored two goals for Hobart. ESM boys basketball lost against JD 56-46 on Friday. Jimmy Ferns led the team with 14 points. It was a great season for the team. The Lakers beat the Pelicans last night 122-114. LeBron had another triple-double, which is now his 13th of the season with 34 points, 13 assists, and 12 boards. He's now tied with Kobe Bryant for third most triple-doubles in Lakers history in his only second season with the team. Zion Williamson also played very well with a new career high of 35 points. I'm David with your sports. So if you're interested in Skills USA or DECA, ask any teacher how to get involved. Make sure that you tune in tomorrow when Toby and Katie talk about the new plastic bag man that took effect yesterday. But from everyone here at the Spartan News, have a great day.